Well, hello there, I'm Détroit. Before I start, let me just remind you that you can subscribe for free. That's all, let's get into it, I have a lot to talk about. As you can see, I have already sketched this character. This illustration started as a practice drawing trying to emulate the style of an artist I love, Möbius, but more on that later. In this video, you'll see me ink the drawing and color it with a very basic render, while I explain every step of the way. The starting point is, of course, character design. This cool alien-looking character was a study of shapes and composition, on how to mix simple, readable shapes and delicately intricate designs. There are three main shapes to consider here. The rectangular head, the triangular cloth and body, as well as the spherical moon or sun behind. These three shapes live together on the same picture, enhancing each other and redirecting to one another. I won't talk much about the sun or moon because it's just a nice way to fill the canvas and add an element of alien-like world to the illustration. What I'm most interested in is the rectangle that serves as a head, the triangular upper body, and mainly the zone that connects them both. Working on three different levels, you can see the body shape as very simple, the head shape as being moderately detailed, and the neck adornments to be much more detailed. This gives the composition diversity, alternating and naturally directing the eye of the viewer. It also serves to create a very nice original character. The long head helps too. First of all, who is that guy? Where does he come from? What is this world we are in? Why is his anatomy so strange and why is his skin blue? Oh yeah, his skin will be blue, don't worry about that yet. So just from the shapes and the composition, we already have a ton of questions. The design of his clothes and adornment is also full of mysteries, as is the position of the character and his empty eyes. All of these, added to the nice shapes that are very easy to the eyes, is the take I got from observing a lot of Mobius' art. Before I get into Mobius, let's talk inking while I'm at it. My usual inking brush felt too textured for this drawing, so I went with a pretty simple circular black brush, with a very slim change in size with pressure of the stylus. I chose a rather small size for the brush while keeping it fairly visible in order to have no ambiguity as to the style. This is like a comics, or rather, a bande dessinée. That's my transition into Mobius, whose real name was Jean Giraud. He was a French artist known for his bande dessinée, which are the French slash Belgian equivalents to comics. You might know the type of comics that it is from works like Tintin, Asterix, Lucky Luke, Spirou and such. You know, the comics with speech bubbles from early 1900s that inspired American style comics like the superhero genre. This is a subject very close to home, as I grew up in the world of bande dessinée, or BD, which might have been my oldest inspiration to get into art. Anyway, Mobius' work is from the 50s up to 2012 when he died, and it covers a variety of genres and styles, but the ones I'm interested in today are his science fiction slash fantasy works. I can cite, for example, Le Monde de Dena, which is full of pure beauty as far as illustration goes, illustrations that I could watch for hours when I need inspiration. Look at this style, look at these shapes. Look at the beautiful mix between intricacy and simplicity. This tickles my storyteller brain who can't help imagine stories about dreams, exploration, technology, aliens and entire worlds. I also have to talk about the Star Watcher, of course, which I almost ripped off for this present illustration I'm making. I didn't steal from it, but I certainly got a lot of my inspirations from it. Another thing you might notice from Mobius's art is the vibrancy of his colors, or rather the lack thereof, quite often. There are big color contrasts, some very saturated next to grayish tones, a lot of contradictions in color palettes, like yellows with purples or blues and oranges. The color patterns are very nice, and I wanted my original character to also have an interesting color palette. And so, with color in mind, this is where I turn to Instagram for color inspirations. By the way, you can follow me at d3-sd. I upload all of my art there, even the illustrations that don't make it to video format. There is one artist on Instagram I've followed for quite some time because of his color palettes, and that is Gaston Pacheco, at Gaston Pacheco underscore art. Look at that, 
the dissonance in the colors that somehow become harmonious. I just love it. So this was my inspiration for the coloring of this picture. I selected a few colors off camera, tweaked some of them a bit, played with the saturation, and finally assigned them to all the areas of my drawing. As I said in the beginning of this video, the whole process was originally a study. Had I thought of making a fully fledged video then, I would have recorded myself playing around with the palette. Only when I was done, I really wanted to talk about Mobius and acknowledge Gaston Pacheco, which is why you're watching this today. This is a fan art, is basically what I'm saying. For the shading of the drawing, because it was a bit flat, I added a dark purple layer on top of every area, drawing in the shadow, then changing the layer style to multiply and lowering the opacity. For the background and the moon, I used the black and transparent gradient on a saturation layer to make the bottom of the picture more faded. For the previously stated reasons about this picture, originally just being a study, I added some more shadows of camera and turned the line out a dark blue as well. I'm sorry you can't see that. Honestly, if you're an artist as well, pick an illustrator that you love and emulate their style. It is the best advice I can give you. This way you learn art, you make something you like, and you pay an homage to a good artist. Don't forget to share who you're studying from though, plagiarism is bad and credit is important. If you're not from France or Belgium, I encourage you to delve into the wonderful world of BD, Bande dessinée. Do follow me on Instagram, again my handle is adithi.sd, my Twitter is at Detroit if you want to come chat, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm Detroit and I'd love to see you around. Bye!